Hello and welcome to Talk FC Bay and welcome back here to the channel guys and it's about that time again. It's time to announce an official signing. It's done. It's complete. It's finally over the line. We've got ourselves another left back at Barcelona and that for me is terrific news because right throughout this summer, yes of course you want the big names, you want the big forward signings who can get those goals but at the same time left back for us was absolutely crucial and right here and right now it is done. Junior Firpo, welcome to Barcelona, and in today's video, we are going to be discussing exactly what this man can bring and why he appears to be such a good signing. It's all coming up. Let's do this. Because just this morning, Junior Firpo arrived in Barcelona. He passed his medical examinations. Everything was done. Everything was complete. And then this afternoon, it was official. Junior Firpo has joined Barcelona on a five-year contract with a release clause there of 200 million euros. And I've got to say here, a pretty impressive fee to go with that as well. Up front, 18 million euros there is going to be paid to Real Betis. There's also the opportunity there for Betis to gain an extra 12 million euros in variables, which means means overall there the deal could reach if he does meet those bonuses up to 30 million euros and Firpo will wear the number 24 shirt at Barcelona next season and of course the best thing about this is the fact that we've wrapped up this deal now the fact that Firpo can come in and straight away he's going to be on that USA tour that was the really important thing we leave for that of course on Monday we've got him in now done his medical got this confirmed got this complete and now he can have that vital vital pre-season preparation away with the team in the United States all together and that's really Really important for a new signing to come in and have that sort of preparation. Firpo is here now, and that really is so important. We paid the 18 million, we got him in, it's a massive signing for us, it's a really, really important move, and I have to say, I'm really, really excited to see what Junior Firpo can come in and do. Because for me, looking across at La Liga there, his form at Real Betis, the way that he performed last season, the way that he performed as well at the camp now as well against us, he looks such a good player. He really, really does. When you look at his characteristics, when you look at his playing style, the coach, of course, that he played under last season in Kike Setien, playing very, very good football in a good system. He looks perfect right now to come in and give us what we need, what we desperately, desperately need in that left back area. Because like I said at the start of the video, we have always wanted this summer to bring somebody in to provide real competition there and real competition, not just somebody to come in and play second fiddle at Jordi Alba and just accept there, you're going to be a backup. I don't think Ferrup will do that. I don't think there that he's going to have the mentality that he's coming in to always be the number two. He's coming in here with a real ambition to challenge Jordi Alba. And that's what we want. Because, of course, we know that Jordi Alba, when he plays at his very, very best, when he's fully focused, he is, without question, one of the best in the world in his position. No doubt about that. But we have to get him to that level. We've got to push him there to be at his maximum every single week. And, of course, he's not always going to be able to play. We've got to rest Jordi Alba. We've got to rotate him more. No doubt about that. Now, we have somebody who can not only play at left-back, but, for me, play at left-back very, very well. But there's also the other aspect of it as well. For me, Junior Firpo here is young enough to come in just 22 years old right now he does turn 23 later on this month but he's still very young he's able there to come in develop improve obviously learn as well from Jordi Alba there ahead of him in the pecking order and then hopefully in time he's going to grow he's going to grow in stature in confidence and he's actually there for me has the ability to take over that mantle at left back you've got to remember here Jordi Alba is 30 years old he's not going to be able to play forever he's somebody who does rely a lot on his speed of course his athleticism to be at the best he can be when Alba can't do that anymore, we will need somebody to step in. Now we have that signing. He's not broken the bank. He has so much potential. And for me, so exciting he is. Because for me, another aspect of Furpo's game, which is very, very encouraging, you've got to take into account here the versatility that he has as a player. Somebody here who can play in a number of roles. He has done throughout his career. He's very, very adaptable. He can certainly give us a number of options in a number of different formations as well. Because we're talking here about a six foot tall defender. Somebody there who's much, much taller than Jordi Alba. And also so much more physical. He's somebody who's very, very strong. He's good in a challenge. You'll struggle there to bump him off the ball. But at the same time, he's very quick. Maybe not as lightning quick as Jordi Alba is, but he can still get about the field. He can still get up and down and he can still contribute there in the final third. And he's also somebody right throughout his career under Kike Setien as well. He's somebody at times who has played in the back three as a centre-back. There is the left centre-back. He's somebody who has done that in his career. And he's also somebody throughout his career who's played as a winger too. So defensively or offensively, Firpo has been there 
there and done it. He can contribute in both areas. And I think here, we've signed a very, very rounded left back. We've not broken the bank. It's a good transfer fee. He's not going to break our wage structure either. He's not going to be on a massive amount of money every single week. But he's somebody who can come in, provide that competition, which we desperately need for Alba, and also show his quality too, because believe me, he's a very good player. Because let's now discuss Junior Firpo right throughout his career, exactly how he made his way to Barcelona. Because when you're talking about Junior Firpo, he joined Real Betis' youth system back in 2014 at the age of 18, where he then went on to make 44 appearances for the Betis B team. And from there, it was a really quick transition from the B team into the first team and then established himself. He made his name, he adapted there very, very quickly. And we'll be hoping that he can do the same at Barcelona, that he can come in, adapt, get his head down, and then go to work, really start working hard there in that left back role. In 2018, that Junior Firpo did make his big breakthrough at first team level in La Liga in February 2018. And from there on in, he was a real mainstay in that Betis team. And by appearing in La Liga, he became there the first ever Dominican Republic born player to feature in La Liga in its history. And likewise now, in joining Barcelona, Junior Firpo has become the first ever Dominican Republic born player to feature for Barcelona. And of course, it was Kike Setien, just like I mentioned earlier, who gave Firpo that real opportunity in the first team. He saw that talent, he brought him through, and certainly then at Betis, he went from strength to strength. He featured 24 times in La Liga for Real Betis last season, he scored on three occasions, he provided four assists, he was very, very good in their team down the left-hand side, again, providing them good defensive quality, but also very good going forward. That's a good thing to note there. Firpo can contribute going forward, there's no doubt about that, and he also appeared there four times in Europe for Betis in the Europa League. He's yet to make his full debut for the Spanish senior side, but I feel like that call-up now is only just around the corner when you make your big move to Barcelona, if he can impress now. Certainly, he's going to be appearing for Spain very, very soon indeed, I'm sure. He has, though, made four appearances for Spain under-21 side, and he was actually part of the team that this summer won the under-21 Euros, with Firpo there playing 90 minutes in the semi-final and also 90 minutes in the final during Spain's win at the under-21 Euros. So Firpo there, certainly, he's going to become a big hit, I feel, on the international stage. And it's safe to say, Junior Firpo, 22 years old, coming in here, he's got La Liga experience, he's got a lot of good qualities, and he's emerged here as one of the promising young left-backs there right now. And in particular, you've got to look at his performance at the Camp Nou last season. I mentioned it briefly at the beginning of the video. He was sensational at the Camp Nou last season, where Setien's Betis ran riot, really, against Barcelona. He finished 4-3, they were dominating large periods of the game, they were playing brilliant football, they were going out attacking, gung-ho style, and it was Firpo who was really key in that game down the left-hand side. He scored on the day, of course, a brilliant finish there, past just taken after a really explosive run there from his own half, and he also provided an assist in that game as well, and he truly did terrorise Sergio Roberto down our right-hand side. He was causing so many problems, he was getting in behind, and certainly on that game alone, you can see what Firpo is capable of, you can see what he can do, and I'm so excited to see him turn out in a Barcelona shirt what he can offer, what he can provide into the competition, and also just get the best there out of Jordi Alba. Make everybody work for their spot, and in bringing in Firpo here, we've added to our squad enormously. And I'm very, very happy, like I say, guys, to get this deal done. And of course, Junior Firpo comes in now on top of the marquee signings, the big, big names that we've already got in this summer, Frankie de Jong arriving, Antoine Griezmann arriving. But I just want to quickly bring you words from Bartomeu after, that's the really important thing here, after Junior Firpo was announced today. He was speaking, of course, out of the Joan Gamper game later on today, and he was basically asked about the transfer window. What are our plans now? Is this it? Now that Junior Firpo is through the door, and Bartomeu did not shut the door. He didn't say we're not signing any more players. In fact, he said the opposite. He openly admitted there, we could still see one signing, we could see more signings as the window progresses. Potentially, we still have our eye on one target, two targets. There could still be players to come through the door, and that's very interesting indeed. Who may that be? Do we have our eye on anybody in particular? There's one man that I can think of, Junior Furpo. Could there be another junior? Could there be another junior this summer? Certainly, we're going to be hearing more on that as it happens. The window is still open and still the opportunities will arise for Barcelona next season to hit back and hit back strong. But right here and right now, Junior Firpo is officially a Barcelona player. It's been a long time coming, but certainly I feel that he can make it worth the wait because he's a very, very important acquisition. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. What do you think of the Firpo signing? What will he give our team? What do you like about him? What do you feel that he can do next season competing alongside Jordi Alba? Let me know in the comments down below. I will see you soon, of course, with more videos. But until next time, as always, Vizcar, El Barça. Oh, yeah.